Hello, we're gonna use two uh, different models to uh, to learn about the lower portion of uh, of the respiratory uh, system. So this is one of the models that we're going to use, and uh, the the lower part uh, of the respiratory system uh, it starts with the uh, larynx. This is the larynx, and uh, uh, this is actually the thyroid cartilage uh, of the larynx. Uh, what's above the larynx in here, that's a bone. Uh, it's part of the skeleton. Uh, that's the hyoid bone. And what is below the, uh, the larynx in here is the thyroid gland. Uh, the larynx will lead to the trachea. And so that's the trachea. And if you look closely at the trachea, uh, you notice it has all of these rings. These are uh, uh, cartilage rings uh, that supports the uh, trachea. Um, then we, uh, the other part of the respiratory system you can see on the model are the two lungs. And so the one on this side is the right lung. And the one on this side is the left lung. Um, on the model, if we, if we look uh, closely on the model, we can see that the, the left lung is made up of two lobes. And if we turn it around and uh, we look at the right lung, we can see that the right lung is for three lobes. Um, what we're going to do next to follow the rest of the respiratory system is we're going to take part of the lung and we're going to remove the heart. And when we do that, uh, we can see uh, the rest of the respiratory system. Uh, so we're basically going to follow the trachea and we're going to find uh, the trachea on the model in here. And then we're going to follow the two branches of the trachea. Those are the uh, primary uh, branchi. And if we follow one of these primary branchi, let's see, follow this one. You see branches into two branches. That will represent the secondary branchi. They will continue to branch and form is, uh, smaller branches. And the smaller branches that you can see on the model in here, uh, these are basically uh, the bronchioles. And if we follow the bronchioles, uh, they will take us to the functional units uh, uh, of the lungs, which are the alveoli. So we're going to use the other model to, uh, to look at the uh, alveoli. And uh, part of this model in here, uh, we can see... Uh, uh, this is what is known as the uh, terminal uh, bronchioles. And the terminal bronchioles will branch and give you the respiratory bronchioles. So those are respiratory bronchioles. If you follow one of these respiratory bronchioles, which is shown on this side in here, they lead to the alveolar duct. That's, that's the alveolar duct. And then each one of these round structures connected to the alveolar duct, uh, these represents the alveoli. And approximately there are 300 million of these alveoli in the lungs. And the large number is due to the fact that in the alveoli, and you can see the lung capillaries on the model in here, because that's where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide take place uh, between the wall of the uh, lung capillaries and the wall of the alveoli. And that is the anatomy of the lower part of the respiratory uh, system.